Okay, so there's um uh, uh I guess a new CAD program in in town. Well, it's it's been around in in beta um up on GitHub for, for free, you know, to get testing and everything called Plasticity. Um and I thought I'd give it a go. And the reason why, no, I mean, normally I sort of default to Shaper 3D, but I have gone and misplaced my, my iPad. And that's what's really great about Shaper 3D is, is that it's originally designed for the iPad. So, but because I misplaced it, I thought, oh, I'll run it on the desktop. And then, of course, I forgot my login. And then I thought, oh, I'm not, I'm, oh and then I got oh, one and a half because it's like I couldn't use the program without the login. And it's like, this is why, this is what's good about the um, plasticity is, is that there's, there's no login um and uh, so i just thought i'd do just like a quick comparison between the two really um but yeah there's there's no i mean there's no login I and mean, i think it's just one guy developing it i mean and and it's also uh, by default it's kind of quite blender centric so a lot of the blender shortcuts are very similar like sort of navigation you know on the on the numpad and stuff um and uh x deletes things and and so it's quite blender like um i mean even the, the sort of you know the the z up and all the rest of it although i think quite a lot of cad programs the z is up although not shape of 3d um but yeah it's it's i mean it's quite good i mean obviously i've only just started playing with it so it's sort of i'm sure it's more my unfamiliarity i mean initially i, I was kind of because i quite like sketchup as well <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's always this kind of like, oh, what's the new? I mean, I'm trying to do this 360 GoPro 360 rig, which doesn't exist for the, for you know, you can get GoPro 360 rigs for um, for f fours, but anything higher, there doesn't seem to be anything out there. So um, and um, so I quite like SketchUp. I mean, what I really like about SketchUp is a slight slight detail, is the whole you know, drag out your your shape and then just type in what dimensions you want, like 100 um by 50 and there you go I, I really like that i really like to just drag out the shape and then t instantly you'd start typing in the dimensions you want um and that's one thing that's a little taking a little bit of getting used to um in that um you so here we have the same sort of thing drag out the box but you can't just type you have to you have to uh, going like that so you get the yellow handles and then depending on what uh dimension you want uh width i think is d and f is length well i might have got that the wrong way around but you can see the two axes there and then you can type what you want so you can go 0.1 or something um and then you can go the other one go 0.5 or something right uh and um so that and then you have to press enter so there's a few more steps um which is i mean the, th the thing with uh because initially i tried to build this this 360 gopro 360 rig in in sketchup but then it didn't have any fillets or chamfers and and to buy the the bevel thing was like 15 thing and that's just like oh this is really annoying and, that, and that's that's i mean i guess sketchup's really meant more for kind of woodwork and um you know planning building properties and so it's not really you know i guess for so much 3d printing but i quite like that feature in sketchup where you can just drag out the thing and type in the dimensions right um and then so i might as well go and show you something similar do the thing drag out hit and this is what you see you just and you're already there you're already there so this is this is i mean i if i'm i mean obviously you know plasticity is quite new and, and they're still working on it i mean it's, it's just you know this first version's out now um but it, yeah this this whole thing of there's just a few too many steps for my liking initially um but you don't have, there's no login right which is kind of great um because everything's got a long login modo i use modo a lot and that's got a login um and it's, this oh and then there's i guess there's on shape as well which is you know cloud-based I, I like i like having you know not having not having to have the internet you know let's say you're on a train or something right um or on site or something and you can't get mobile phone reception or something um so yeah i like the um so anyway i just i just that's my main gripe i think so far with plasticity is this whole 
how you how you can numerically enter in the dimensions or something it's, it's there's just a few too many steps for my liking um but i'm prepared to put up with that just for the whole fact that it's um i mean they've got like their free offering let me share the pricing between uh shape of 3d and um and uh and plasticity um and um obviously so you see it's cheaper um uh, I mean, there are obviously the advantage with, with Shape of 3D is, is um, you know, you can run it on the iPad and it's all backed up in the cloud. That's if you like this whole, it's all in the cloud business and logins and all the rest of it, which can be useful. Um, and on Shape is kind of, I guess, that on steroids because you can share that between a team of people who are working on the same project. So that's kind of, um, I mean, I, I don't know quite what the pricing is for Unshape. I mean, it might be worth checking that out. But um, but my main currently my main battle is between um, it's between Shape of 3D and Plasticity. And, and the only reason why I really use Plasticity initially was because I couldn't couldn't remember my login <laughs> for Shape of 3D, um, and I can't find my iPad. So um, but um, I mean, it's you know it's promising certainly. Um, I mean, it, it is kind of I guess a bit more focused at the art creation as opposed to actually sort of dimensionally um i mean you can do dimensionally accurate stuff it's just there's a few more steps um but since i was making the same thing again it seemed to be i thought i'd just do this quick video comparing the two um i mean i'm not really the, the only the main thing i'm comparing is the dimension is, it, business um because it, that's the one thing that i was thinking oh that's a bit it's okay i guess it's just a bit clunky um but if you used to blender the whole idea of you know transforming something in the xyz axis or using this the the depth the way shape of 3d likes to do it which is this whole um depth length and height i think it's called there so i think my preference really is, is shape of 3d just um it seems to be um just the whole this whole dimensioning thing you know that's sort of a, a sort of crucial cad thing and and so for that to be quick um is um is important um and it just seems to be there's just this whole i mean i got there in the end it just took me a little longer and there's a few more steps yeah i mean they're they're, they're very similar um now that i've managed to log in with into shape of 3d i'll probably go back to it but i thought i'd try this because it was like it's the, it's the new thing and it's quite blender like um so you know if you're used to your blender navigation um uh, then then that's great and and the, the only the problem with shape of 3d you know it's it's been originally designed around ipad pencil um so it does some the navigation feels a little bit clunky although i think it works with the space navigator which i don't seem to have to plug in at the moment but anyway that's just a sort of quick you know i was sort of um exploring the options and um uh yeah i just wanted to compare the two because they are quite similar in this whole kind of minimalist interface and only show what you need and all this sort of business um but the, my main gripe i think with plasticity at the moment is that uh, is the dimensioning is a bit like uh, i don't i kind of just like i like the way that um i prefer the way that shape of 3d does it because it's closer to sketchup i guess um okay that's it